in the previous tutorial we are able to make a guess request to get list of country we are able to get by id and we are able to also do a post request using postman today we are going to be talking about updates uh update or put request and i want you to look at the controller and for post request we have this post so it's basically the same principle and today i'm going to just make this class or this lesson to be extremely short i'm going to simply uh, copy and paste and then um uh, then simply allow you to do the delete. So I'm going to do this, uh, copy this uh, the code for the service. I'm going to paste it here. So instead of this country, it's going to take the ID of the country as well as the actual country data. And we are going to run an update query that says, or um, create an update query that says of this country, set capital, set code, set everything uh, where the ID is six so these are the placeholders for the the placeholders for the parameters in this case the id here is the id coming from here so from the controller i want to specify the the id of the country as well as the body of the country to be updated um so i will copy the code from my website i will copy the code from my website so i'm going to copy the code from my website and so it's basic copy and paste and then we continue from there so i'm going to copy and paste all right um so the control is updated that is fine and uh, let's see um yeah uh and that's basically it so the same way we did get by id but this we have the id specified but in this case the, the request body this request body will be the, the body of the request, the country to be updated, and the ID is the actual ID of the country to be, uh, to be updated. So I have to just run it and then we proceed to do the delete. So I'm going to just save everything and let's go to try to run it. Okay, so I'm going to sign it for now. It's working and let me change uh, the first one, this country number two, which is India. Country number two, which is India, and country slash ID. So I'm going to say country slash uh, two here, and I'm going to choose puts. And the body now, I'm going to say on V. All right, so we have the body here. So the ID for India is two, right? So I want to give it a code, IND, IND and the continent is not africa i'm going to add the right continent to be asia in capital letter and the nationality in capital letter is indian and let me now run it and let's see if it works and so i'm going to say send no data returned actually error did not occur but no data was returned uh, we are going to fix this later on to get um, real good error messages um, so if we go back to check um, by doing a get request of all the countries, I want to check actually if India was updated. If I scroll down, you can see India was updated. So these updates we made actually reflected there. I'd like to stop here. I'll actually know. I'm going to quickly do the delete um, and then we continue from there. So after we do the delete, we now switch now to Angular because I'm going to, before I continue, I'd just like to show you where we are in the stream of time or in the stream of our application time. So if I go to Fleet ML version 3 videos, you can see that we are still doing node, 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 um, node, node, node. So we are still somewhere here. Now we want to, after now, after this class, we are now going to go to uh, Angular, right? <laughs> Actually consume this uh, API in the front end. So let's do the delete. So I'm going to copy this uh, code for the delete uh, methods in the service. I'm, just, I'm going to just paste it here. This is the delete method in the service. And this is the delete method for the controller. So it's very, very intuitive. I'm going to copy and paste it in the controller. Again, take note that I'm using router.delete. It's quite interesting here to see and the parameter of the country to delete. And then it's going to simply delete, run the delete statement. So I'm going to save everything. 
and I'm going to go back here on Postman. Sorry, Postman here. Let me first select uh, everything. So if we have here, I want to delete. I want to delete this number three. This USA. I want to delete number three. So I'm going to go delete, delete, and delete countries slash three. And if I go to check. Uh, delete country slash three and I'll simply run it as send it send and it doesn't return nothing uh, it doesn't return nothing right and so if we check whether USA is still there so I'm going to say get send uh, so I'm getting three so I'm going to just check so for some reason it did not delete USA uh, so let's see let me just see um, so we have delete, delete country. Oh, so we have this, uh, the wrong query specified here. So this does not make sense. So it's going to be delete, delete here. So it's not select box, delete. Okay, so this is the correct query for delete. So please forgive me for this mistake. So I'm going to save everything now and let's go do the delete. So save everything and I'm going back to this place and let's go to delete. We want to delete record number three, which is USA, which is this guy here. Send and I think it worked this time. So if I now say, if I now say get the countries, I will have to be sure that USA is not there. So USA is not there. So you can see it begins from number four. You can see for yourself. So this is how to build the API. So basically you can build the API for every other model, every other component, be it fleet, be it uh, users, be it employees. And now we will be switching to the front end to work in Angular because this is how we are going to be dancing between Angular, PostgreSQL and Node. So I'd like to thank you for coming up right to this point and we are going to be moving to the next part. Please remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and we see the next parts.